Hello, my name is Brian, and um, we're going to find out what's the problem with uh, trying to scan your QR code on your desktop with your phone. Uh, recently, my phone has been working fine. I've been using uh, <clears throat> uh, WhatsApp on my desktop for like, uh, I think like uh, two weeks. And eventually, uh, my WhatsApp got, uh, I don't know how, but it logged out. Then when I tried to scan, I was getting a problem like uh, scan again. Others uh, get, uh, get issues like uh, they tell you to check your internet, but you're sure you have internet, you know? Yeah, so it's it has been a common problem when, uh, when someone's trying to scan his phone with a QR code. On the website. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick fix how to sort that problem out. You may be using a Mac computer or a Windows computer, it doesn't matter. You may be using a Mozilla or Chrome or Microsoft Edge, whatever the, the browser you are using, the solution is the same fraud. Okay. So I'm just going to discuss the three issues which people usually get, uh, the errors which usually get uh, people people get when they're trying to connect to the QR. Uh, when some people try to <clears throat> scan their phone to the QR on their desktop, uh, it doesn't scan at all. It doesn't bring an issue, but you scan like well, like for ten seconds, twenty seconds, thirty seconds, the thing is not scanning at all. Okay, so that's the scenario number one. Uh, scenario number two, when you scan, you get an error. It just says you scan again, you know? On your phone, you just get a message, scan again. And usually on the phone, you'll be seeing like at the if the phone is trying to log in, but in the middle of it, it tells you scan again. And on the desktop, sometimes actually it just refreshes itself. The QR code just loads again you know, without no um, success. Uh, scenario number three is when you scan, the phone scans, and in the middle of trying to log in on the, to, the, to the computer, the computer logs out and usually get, a, uh, usually get a message like couldn't log in, check your phone's internet connection and scan the QR code again. This is a message sometimes people get on their, uh, on their computer when they're trying to scan, you know? It's really, really, really so stressful. You like it's, uh, some people use that attaching files from their computers directly to the phone. And uh, it's something which is unavoidable. And when you get used to using the, the WhatsApp on a desktop, it's really hard actually to work with the phone, you know? I'm a person who does, uh, who send invoices to people um, instead of um, um, sending them to, some people prefer now sending invoices to the, to the, to the WhatsApp. Um, I usually have an invoice generator on my computer. So after comparing my invoice, I've sent it via WhatsApp. So if uh, WhatsApp is not working on my computer, it's really, really a big challenge because I have to end up sending it to my email, I download it to my phone, then I attach it on WhatsApp. It's really, really, really inconvenient. So I really need to sort out my WhatsApp on my computer. So how are we going to fix it? The first thing, how to fix your web QR code not working is you can try, solution number one, you can try to clear WhatsApp Case. This usually fixes some people's problem. To others, it may not fix. To me, it fixed my problem some uh, a month ago. Okay, it really worked well, and I recommend it to others. Uh, they realize actually it works for them. But if it doesn't work for you, we shall discuss option two of just zooming it your window to one hundred and twenty. So let's first look at how to fix the problem of QR code used by clearing your WhatsApp cookies, okay? 
Now, uh, what are cookies? When you go to your web.whatsapp.com link, okay, you utilize there's a padlock. Every computer has a padlock. Okay, Google has a padlock, Twitter has a padlock, everything has a padlock. So when you go to WhatsApp, you can click here, then you go to clear cookies and site data. Okay, you click there, then you say remove. Okay, so when you click on remove, um, it's going to remove cookies. Cookies are like tracking codes, uh, which websites plant into browsers, you know? So sometimes they get mixed, mixed up. Um, sometimes uh, it just gets confused or whatever, you know? But some people, when they clear cookies from their, from their uh, WhatsApp website link, it really fixes the problem. You go to the padlock, you clear cookies and site data, then you click on remove. Then the cookies or the tracking codes will be removed. If it doesn't fix your problem and you still have the problem, you go to option two. So option one, if it doesn't work for you, you try to zoom your browser a little bit bigger okay what do i mean i'm using mozilla but even to chrome there's a way you can zoom it so i'm giving an example of mozilla browser if the qr code is not really working for me um uh, you can go on your keyboard control plus times two or you can just come to here your menu and you try to go to zoom Okay, you see it's 100%, most cases by default it's 100%. Then you can try to zoom in by 110, 120. 120 usually it works for me, okay? But to you, if it doesn't work for you well, you can try to zoom in to 133. To others actually, it may work at well at 150. It's like as if the actual code is enlarged, so your phone can easily connect the QR code, okay? So I'm going to, for my, I'm going to set it to 120 for now, unless I get an issue with it of scanning, then that's when I can try to enlarge it. So I'm going to work with, um, I'm going to work with it at 120. So let me scan and see. So I had to set mine to 133. I set it to 120, but it refused to scan. Then I set it to 133. I tried to uh, clean my camera, okay? Then I tried to do it again at 133%. It looks like it's connecting. And uh, on the phone, actually, it has already told me like it's going to connect. So uh, also for you, if you're having a problem with your WhatsApp on scanning the QR code, try to zoom your browser to 120. If it doesn't work at 120, extend it to 133. Make sure you clean a bit on your camera, behind your camera, you get a, a cross though, you know, swap it on your, on your dress or so shirt. Uh, you can put some little uh, liquid, like uh, maybe a little bit of a wet cloth, then you clean it well, then you scan it again. So this time it won't disturb. To others, you may have to expand it a bit, but at 133 or 120, it usually works perfect. And uh, here on the phone, it shows me it has worked. Thank you. This is the end of the video. Thank you. You can leave your comments and please try to subscribe on my YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Have a nice day. Bye.